Hey there, this is Alex Weingarten, and I'm an application engineer at Hawk Ridge Systems. In this video, I'd like to show you two really powerful tools in SolidWorks to instantly create cross-section profile sketches with dynamic references to your CAD models. These are the helpful slicing and intersection curve features. If you're asking yourself, what am I even talking about? Allow me to explain. Here we have a model of a plastic water bottle. Let's say it's a customer file they sent to us and we need to reverse engineer some critical dimensions for a redesign. We can use the section view tool to show the inner geometry. However, if we try to reference any of these components, as you can see here, when we try to select a sketch plane, there's nothing to reference. That's because the section view is just a change in the display perspective. It's not actually slicing and referencing any geometry. So even when we use this front dividing plane to try to check out some of these sections or intersections, with the line tool, we'll see no edges or vertices. So another way to look at it is you can't use the convert entities tool without any entities to convert. So section view comes close, but no cigar. Okay, so what do we do to create these dynamic sketches? One excellent way would be via the slicing tool introduced in 2019. It's located directly in the insert pull down menu and it's very simple to use. One advantage of this option is the ability to generate multiple sketches at once based on the number of slicing planes we want to create. So we can select the number of planes and whatever offset interval we please. For this example, we're gonna do one central plane, which will be our old trusty friend, the symmetric front plane. So once that's created, you can see a bounding box appears, which can be adjusted to dial in what part of the model you want those sketches to be produced. For our case, we will leave it as is and uh, let it encapsulate the full model. We'll check this preview slices option to see how it looks. Excellent, as expected. And hit our green check to create it. You can see slice one folder it appears in the feature design tree with the slicing plane and sketch. So real quick, I'm gonna turn off the model so we can investigate this sketch a little further. You can see by selecting the entities, it's fully related. So it will update dynamically as we change the model. Perfect, exactly what we wanted. I wanted to give you all one additional method, a slight modification on the slicing plane selection. So we'll open it up again. And instead of using a plane or a planar face, we are gonna select a line and a point. So We'll do our central axis and a random point on the top section. And as you can see, we've changed the input of the offset from a linear dimension to an angular dimension. So we're rotating around that line we selected. Um, so an excellent tool to use for imported parts, especially when you need to clean up geometry and use these new sketches with a revolve or sweep feature for a cleaner model. So the second way we can automatically generate this geometrically linked sketch is through the intersection curve sketch feature. So this option has less bells and whistles in the sense that it calculates all surfaces intersecting the single chosen projection plane without specifying a bounded area. So let's start again with our sweet reliable front plane, set it as our sketch plane in this case and we can locate the intersection curve under the Convert Entities dropdown or the Tools pull-down menu under Sketch Tools. So you'll see intersection curve again, and we're gonna have a really simple property manager. We'll do our flyout and select our three bodies, double-click the green check, and voila! we have our identically geometrically dynamic model linked sketch. So 
Great second method to get the same result. One last thing to look out for with the intersection curve feature is that if we don't initially specify any sketch plane, it will default to create a 3D sketch in which whatever selected faces, bodies, or planes will generate projected intersections, as you can see here. So you can get a lot of overdefined features. You have these intersecting 3D elements. So I just want to make sure you're all aware of that possibility. So there you have it, two very powerful tools SolidWorks provides to create cross-section profile sketches directly linked to your models. Now, you might be asking which one you would choose over the other. There's benefits to both. It really depends on your setup and the part model. Um, the slicing tool gives you the ability to select multiple slicing planes, so you can create multiple sketches at once, either linear or rotational and you can control with the bounding box which section of the part you want to make a sketch of. And as for the intersection curve, it's a bit more straightforward. So if you don't have any variations, it can be more useful and it can be used while editing your sketch. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped and feel free to leave a comment or suggestion for other topics.